I'm happy. I mean, uh, attending Vera's party, seeing my punda. I've also named the punda Shikwekwe. She, you and I, I don't think we'll ever get to that place of breaking up, honestly. No, never. They'll wait for us. Let them Unless wait for us. still my man, so no. Charles lost Ali Puteza Babake. I don't know. And then I lost the baby. Mm. So in this time, Amen. so don't worry, don't cry. But, um, on a stage four cancer survivor, nobody, even the doctors, the four top specialists that were looking after me, never thought I'd pull through. And they just said, you are the survivor princess. And I found myself in Nolongo, the choirs of Nolongo. I was an agent and I used to broker Changa and Kokoto. She's not hiding from her past. But today is a bit shady. <laughs> a shade that all these women throw. It's on my head. So 6,000 shillings. And um, I used to take two, two matatus every day. Me. She's not even correctly married. It's just one of those Kijiji marriages, you know? What do you mean? Mama yake, ngombe amsini. You are very stupid, okay? Until bushy. you're ready. You cannot be bushy. Uh, bushy, bushy, bushy. <laughs> and, and I'm loving it. I don't know what happened that night. It was the Simba. I mean, everyone wanted to draw her. It was so beautiful. Hello, guys. Hey! Housewives of Nairobi. Oh, my God. See, eh? This is the best. Like, I enjoyed this episode. Today's episode was just outstanding it was unique on its own hey it's just they need they, they need they need an applause people should take it like the organizers of this show at least for once they've given me something outstanding it's not every time women are always at war it's not always every time that women are always fighting themselves but for this episode hey see i am super super you would understand how excited i am like i don't know i don't know how you guys are getting it have you watched it are you excited how did you feel watching from beginning till the end and not seeing any woman or any lady trying to bring the others down meanwhile hey on the other hand what they are doing is they're actually trying to lead themselves up hey I enjoyed this episode like this is what it means like this is what it means by women lifting other women up we're dancing um, we're celebrating one of our own I think generally this is how it should be all the time it's just a good feel moment and I'm loving it I I, I, at least for once let us enjoy peace not every time there is one chaos or the other. Not the every time this one is trying to bring this all down. The sky is big for every one of us on this planet Earth to fly. And we will not even clash. Like, this is what it should be. This is what housewives should be. Housewives should be in such a way that you are trying to lift the other woman up. You're, you're being a role model to the younger ones. That is what it should be. That is what this thing should be. <laughs> God. You guys will understand. Is it the emotional breakdown or oh, at the point in time so I almost cried because the women or the ladies actually poured out their hearts. We could see them being emotional, being vulnerable. This is what it should be. Not every time they are showing us the glitz, the glamour, the fighting. No, now. At least for once. Like, you guys don't understand. <laughs> Single mother who really struggles, she cooked for people to, to bring us up and make a living to school us through bursaries. I never finished from four in my life. Never went to university. <laughs> okay, I'm just asking so much. Welcome to our YouTube channel. How you doing? Hope you're doing great and hope you're staying safe. See, yeah, Kenyans, you will deserve an accolade though. You guys are doing well, like very, very well. <laughs> If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for at this point in time? Women lifting women up. Even not for that thing. For this episode, I have subscribed now. Subscribe, hit the bell button. Also, I want to know your comments in the comments button, in the comment box, what you think about this episode of Housewives of Nairobi. And give me that thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Now, let's dive into today's video. So, today's episode opens up with Sonal and Susan going shopping, going, you know. See, when it comes to Sonal and Susan, let's just give it to them. They are what we call fashion gurus. Like, I've said it there. Any day I come to Nairobi, 
I will look for how I will read Susan and Sonal's um, wardrobe because these ladies are giving when it comes to fashion, like give it to them, they're giving everything and more in fashion, like you know what to combine, how to combine, and all of that. So they went shopping together, and in the process of shopping, they decided to actually model for the owner of the um, boutique. Apparently, Sonal actually knows the owner. Susan was the one that brought Sonal to this place, but Sonal actually knows the lady that owns the boutique so both of them actually go to the same mocks that's they pray together so that's how they get they actually know themselves but um susan has actually modeled for the owner of the boutique so they actually spoke spoke about various events how vera actually brought a donkey to the events and all of that it was very like i love the friendliness i see between the two of them like even um so now actually said itself that nothing can actually break them that's she has actually thrown Susan once under the bus, but they actually came back strong. You and I, I don't think we'll ever get to that place of breaking up, honestly. No, never. They'll wait for us. Let them Unless wait for us. still my man, so now you'll have to like do something major. I think our love is. And then Susan, on the other hand, is like, nothing can actually break us. The only thing that can break us is maybe we come for my man, which is true. Like, how can you be my friend and you're coming for my man, you get? So, the next scene we see is Vera. Vera actually going to the studios. Vera is going to release a song. I'm guessing after this episode, her song will drop. And I'm going to look out for that song, watch out for that song. I'm going to come to give you for the review whether the song is glit or not. But from the beats, from the beats, yeah, I can tell you that that song will be this. Because as the beats were going on, I was really nodding my head and shaking to the music and shaking to the beats. I think it's going to be a very lit one if you ask me. Oh, because I know Vera is someone that goes, pays attention to details, even if she has crossed the line one or two times on this uh, franchise of Nairobi. But we'll forgive her and let her music fly. Uh, so we see Sonal and Dr. C going to see the doctor because they want to do some facial reconstruction, not facial reconstruction. Reconstruction is a big word because you now have to start tearing with knife and all of that. So they're actually trying to correct some wrinkles and all of that. It's not that they talk about women supporting women. Like, I love the way they like to take each other. Like, okay, oh girl, I'm going to do certain, certain things. Are you interested? So, um... Dr. C has never done this. So so now since Sonal is used to this and Sonal is saying that this year she's actually going for all everything and anything. This time, this year, give it to me all. Botox, filler, nip, tuck, I mean do it all. So she decided to go take an injection to remove correct some certain wrinkles and avoid wrinkles. She decided to go with Dr. C. So both of them went together and then they took some injections to correct wrinkles, correct marks and all that. I just love that friend that, that friendship, that sister is what I'm, I'm here for. We now see Mine's mother coming to visit Mine in her home. So Mine's mother actually came because she noticed that Mine has not really been in a good state. As in, Mine has not been so strong. Mine has not been giving us that vibe. So she's like to come and visit her daughter. Like, girl, what's going on? And Mine goes and says, well, she, she's, not, she's not been feeling herself. And the mother goes ahead. See, a mother always knows when her daughter or, or her son is not is not well. So what's the problem? She now goes ahead to say that oh um, after losing having a miscarriage and then losing her father-in-law, things have not just been the same. Mentally, she has been down and all of that. And then I lost the baby. Mm. Okay. Okay. Twins in this time. Don't cry, baby. See, uh, this episode was just so emotional. The women came out open, like losing a baby, having a miscarriage is mm -mm, like it was, it, it's, it's a whole lot. I pray and I wish her the very best. Even the mother had to encourage her, telling her that she should not worry, God knows the best, and maybe the next one is going to be twins. So, we, your fans, Mine, will be here praying for you. There will be no more miscarriage. You're going to get two. If it is twins you want, you will have twins. If it is triplets, quadruplets, anyone you want, as your heart desires, so shall God grant it unto you, Mine. Please be strong and may the soul of your father in law rest in peace. Amen. So, please, if you should leave a prayer for Mine in the comment section so that she can be strong and pull through. So we now see Lisa actually inviting her dietitian to her home. So basically, Lisa is a stage four cancer survival. Like these ladies were very open on this episode. They came clean. They came open. Like 
so so many times we get to see people walking and smiling and you think everything is all right with them but deep down <laughs> if they tell you what they've been through like there's this saying that we don't look like what we've been through in this life what i had gone through and how i pulled through and realizing wow i am basically one of the three percent in the world who have su has survived the strongest chemotherapy in the world lisa is a stage four cancer survival like from what she said only three percent get to survive this when you say three percent they can imagine like lisa is a walking testimony so lisa because of this she's she has decided to take all her diets everything she eats she has decided she has decided, she has decided to be very careful about what she eats and all of that she decides to call her dietitian to come and look into her kitchen what she eats what she has bought and advise her on what to take and what not to take so the dietitian came in looked at her um, shelf looked at the food items she had told her what to avoid other thing i really learned a lot from this dietitian even it was very short but i still learned one or two things it's not all about the bread or cutting out the carbs what is important is the content of the carbs so she advised her on all of that it was really educating to me as well this information so let's talk about carbs let's okay. come over here to these carbs over here so red Pasta, yes. quinoa, right? Right. So I'm sure bread is the devil in everybody's world, huh? Yes. But it really comes down to what is that bread made of? Then we see Min, um, Dr. C taking Mine to one of the top construction companies in Nairobi. Women lifting women. Women uplifting women. So we now see Dr. C taking Mine there. Mine is actually a supplier. She has supplied she's a construction supplier so she has supplied materials to other big top um construction companies her father too was also into construction at some point in time so dr c just wanted to introduce her to one of the big um, construction companies so that mine can actually be supplying materials to them this is what we're talking about lifting other people up it's not going to take anything from you when you light other people's candle your candle will not get dimmer it's not at all rather the place becomes brighter and everybody gets to be happy so Dr. C doing that, I give her an accolade. Like the way she took me there, I applaud her. She called onto me, and I found myself in Nolongo, the quarters of Nolongo. I was an agent, and I used to broker Changa and Kokoto. So she now said, well, she has done her best. She cannot spoon feed. She cannot spoon feed Mine. She has done the connection and it's now left for Mine to go ahead to chase it and get it and keep it to a very to a very for a very long time. Because the lady she introduced her to said, once a supplier gets into the company, like they've worked with suppliers for five years and upward. So you can imagine having a constant job. To supply materials for five years that is a big deal that is serious serious money so i hope mine actually acts well her attitude gets well like she, she she's just professional about everything so that she will do well because i like the girl yes i like her i like her so much because of single kiasi i'm beginning to love her with all my heart body and soul and i wish her the very best she's not hiding from her past and that will open many doors for her so the day of the event of sonal's event is here i didn't tell you but during sonal and susan's um boutique shopping or shopping rather and um, sonal actually told susan she was inviting her so she has sent invite to the housewives to the ladies telling them oh that she's going to be um launching her shoe collection she's going to actually be launching 12 shoe collection the simba collection so the day is here and the dress code is um rose gold that's what the dress code is the ladies came in she told them three is three nothing like african time not like vera's events like vera's events that was in her own household she's put 3 30 and she came seven hours late like what excuse can she give for coming that late is that like it's not it's not there's no excuse at all like around 3 30 p.m vera is a vampire Okay, she only appears at night. What time was it meant to start? The event started. What time did Vera's event start? It was 10. But we were, you? That's not, that's crazy. How do you plan an event? You keep us waiting in your own house for seven hours. So she said three o'clock is three o'clock. She got there. As, as usual you know who always come next lisa came and then the other housewives came i don't think they were actually late but one person that stood out for me was mine mine came like she came 
I'm lost for, word, for words. Mine came with a lamp stand on her hand. So, I don't understand what her essence was, but she said she was coming to actually throw shade because it is required. Dress code today is a bit shady. <laughs> all the shade that all these women throw is on my head. So, today I'm the queen of shade in my life shade. So the ladies sat down together, they had their conversations, so now did the opening speech, and so now speech was excellent, it was emotional, it was everything and more. She told us how she started, how she got pregnant in her mom's suit. Her mom was, she's, she's from, she was trained or she was raised by a single mom, and because of the way things were, she had to leave her mom's house because she was pregnant and they're, they're fending for herself and today this is where she is. Like I love stories like this, grass to grace stories. Like it is very, very important that so many people get to know your grass to grace story. Not every time, oh, I fell down from heaven, I was born with a silver spoon, no no let us know your grass to grace story yes she might not have told us how she got there but this is important at least we know where she's coming from this is like an encouragement to everybody out there's an encouragement to me no matter where you are at this point in time just keep pushing just keep never give up in life that is just the goal never give up in life six thousand shillings and um i expect two, two matatus every day two matatus every day to go and make six thousand shillings in the year two thousand what you know you stand for push for it you're going to get the consistency is key when god sees that you are actually putting in the work he will send help us your way so the way he sends dr c mine's way it's not when you're idle how will god now help you help yourself like do something do not be idle so um she made that um speech everybody was emotional about it i too was i was also emotional about it then the models actually came ran through the runway because the, her collections were very fine then we now see mine trying to because she came with a lamp stand or lamp shade she started to do a little bit of shade so she now says that then um, she was not telling the ladies that oh she and lisa went bowling and with her husband and then lisa i don't know lisa sometimes pisses me off yes i have to say so like there's certain things she shouldn't be saying but well she decides to say it so she goes ahead to say yes there's actually lisa goes ahead to say oh yes there's actually a man who like there's actually a, an actual man that even though they are not properly married based on the fact that it's just traditional wedding they've done they've not done church they've not done courts so, so finally we met him he actually exists she's not even correctly married she's just one of those kijiji marriages you know how do you mean you are very stupid, okay? By law, a traditional wedding is actually honored. It's not legal. This, we are, we're in Africa. Like, we're in Africa. Even we still that are say, oh, church wedding and this. My church will not wed you if you've not done traditional wedding. So it is very important that you do traditional wedding. Whichever they have done. Our forefathers did not know what was church wedding. All they did was traditional wedding. Pay your diary and that is it. And then you see Lisa saying, oh, that she was just paid. She was just bought with some shake shillings and all of that. It was really uncalled for if you ask me. Then um, Mine goes ahead to say that, well, um, the agreement was if Mine gets to win, she's going to find Lisa a guy. And then if Lisa wins, Lisa is going to take her to um, um, school for, for an etiquette class. That video, I think, was like four episodes ago, five episodes ago. So she brought up that conversation and now said, oh, that um, Lisa's under there is full of cobweb, that she needs to look for, that Lisa needs to go and shave off all those things there and trust Susan to always come. And Susan is like, girl, I can actually hook you up. <laughs> you know, I can do that for you. I can actually help you clear up the cobweb under there so that we can get to you, man. Cobwebs. Nakarura <laughs> So everything went on well. Vera did not come for it. Vera came after the event had ended. Like I don't get it. Why are you coming after the event has ended? You're always coming late. 
So you expect that they will wait for you as for queen, mother queen. <laughs> no, dear. No, sis. It's not gonna work. So by the time she arrived there, she put a call through. They told her that the event had gone. I am happy about that. I am very happy about that. Let her know that she's actually not behaving well. So the event ended well. There was peace, harmony, upliftment. Nobody was, was trying to bring anybody down. Everything went on smoothly. And I really, really, really did enjoy this episode so let me know in the comment section what you think about today's episode of housewives of nairobi in the comment section i'll see you all in my next video tomorrow which is the housewives of abuja if you've not seen housewife of doban what are you waiting for is the video before this so just go and watch it bye i ended up um you know making it late so by the time i got to the gate and i made a call i was told that the event is finished. I mean, yeah, fortunately I missed it.